up? It's Bradley Aiden Johnson here, and some people ask me what my one rep max is on um, on certain exercises. If you want to know your one rep max, put it in a calculator, and you can you can work it out. The problem with those calculators is they assume that you go to failure on the first set of a, a lower weight range, which I don't do anyway. So the calculator is pretty useless to me as well. Um, I don't know what my one rep max is for anything. And I don't care what my one rep max is for anything. As I've said before, I'm all about aesthetics and uh, who cares how heavy you can bench something. The only thing that matters is you can bench more than last month. If, that, if you can do that, that's great. It doesn't matter the actual number. I mean, let's take a really shallow example. You walk up to a girl. You got your t-shirt on. You know, you're trying to look good. You walk up to her. You're... What's up, baby? How are you doing? You know, you put your Joey, your Joey voice on. She's like, she looks down at your arms. And she looks up at you. Mm, she looks at your arms. She likes them. She thinks they look nice. Your triceps. Yeah. Do you think she will like your triceps more if you say, yeah, I bench like 280 pounds? She don't know what that means. Who cares? No one knows. Who knows what that means? You could have said, I bench 580 pounds. You could have said, I bench 100 pounds. I bench 1,000 pounds. They don't know. You know, if you, unless, you don't, unless you lift, you don't even know what these numbers mean. No one cares what the number is. They only care how you look. So that's a real shallow example, yeah. But in terms of my one rep max, I don't know. The, you know one rep max is good for finding out? Go in the gym, put as much weight as you can on the bar. You know, put it down on your body and try and push it up. And then, you know, if, if you did it, try heavy. And keep doing it until you break yourself in two, right? Because there is nothing beneficial about finding out such numbers. I've said it. Some people disagree. I'm going to say there's nothing beneficial about finding out how heavy you can go. It's not useful information for us people that are trying to make ourselves look, look better. It's useful for certain people that are in certain professions like powerlifting and strongman. I don't know anything about those things. I also don't know anyone that does that stuff. You know, that's rare stuff. So if you're just trying to look sexy, nothing wrong with that. Embrace it. Don't worry about how much you can bend and how heavy you can go. Don't go heavy. I never go heavy. What am I going to go heavy for? I don't even have the weights to go heavy. Not that heavy. You know, I've only got dumbbells at my, my home. That's like, in fact, there you go. Train at home is a good way to avoid going too heavy and hurting yourself. That's my advice on that. Um, sometimes, can you go heavy, do heavier sets to break through plateaus? And stuff? That's another topic I'll get into that. I've never really experienced a strength plateau myself, but I'm of the understanding that sometimes going heavy will, of course, increase your strength, which can get you through a plateau, which can lead to greater gains in bodybuilding. But that's another video. I'll do that another time. My advice with going heavy, just don't, man. Don't. Bradley Aiden Johnson at gmail.com if you have anything you want to say, anything you want to disagree or agree on with me or any topics you want to bring up, leave a comment on the page, do all those kinds of things. And of course, like my Facebook, like this video, follow me on Twitter, and of course, subscribe. Oh, follow me on Instagram too. Do that. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>